guys. Uh, so today we are just trying to solve uh, this integral uh, from 0 to infinity and x divided by sin x. Uh, before I start, be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, click the like button and uh, leave the comment below. Okay, uh, okay, so, uh, so in order to do this, uh, we let define f of z to be exponential i z divided by z, and uh, we pick up the integrand like this, right, so this is the large c1, and uh, this is, let's call it c3, uh, let's call it c2, let's call it c4, right, so there is a singularity here. Okay, so and then this is z plane, so f of z. Okay, so now, uh, okay, so now from Cauchy's theorem, we know that uh, c1 plus c2 plus d3 plus c4 is 0. Okay, so let's give some parameters. Let's say this is r, large r, this is small r. Uh, or maybe I use oh, small r. Okay, so one so c1 what is c1 right c1 is just a uh, large r so large circle r uh okay so let's let me use c1 so this is circle uh, large circle r plus c2 right c2 is just small circle r plus c3 right c3 is minus r goes to minus uh large uh minus large r go to small r plus r large r so f of z is zero. So if one can take r goes to infinity and the limit small r goes to zero, then these two terms will become the infinity from negative infinity from infinity exponential i z d z, right? But uh, this is just uh, cosine z divided by z. But cosine is the cosine z divided by z is just uh, is a uh, is the <coughs> It's an R function, right? So there will be zero. So the result will be I sine Z divided by Z infinity to infinity DZ zero. Okay. And then this is just two I uh, zero from infinity sine Z divided by Z DZ. Okay. So we will, what we will get is uh, two I zero to infinity sine Z divided by Z DZ equals to minus large r minus small r and then take r to be infinity small r to be zero so this is the first result okay okay so uh the one uh, one consideration i want to talk to you is that the r will be limit r. when r goes to infinity this this large r arc this large arc will be zero and the reason is that uh, uh, I uh, I think I don't have to prove. Uh, I mean, so if you take z equals to r exponential i theta, then this term will become r exponential i theta exponential minus r i minus i r i theta. If you take uh, the absolute value, become r, right? And then this is absolute va value exponential minus i r and uh, cosine theta plus i r sine theta right so this is one but this is suppressed by r right so we get this okay so this inter this integral is just exponential i z d z d z right so it's just less than uh, r minus r sine theta d z so d z is just r i theta i d theta if you take the absolute value, then this is zero, right? So finally, you get this. Right, this is zero as r goes to infinity. Okay. So finally, we we are just asking about a small small r, right? So small r part. Right. So let me just draw it. So small r part looks like this, right? So this small r part can be completed by another small r, right? It then becomes circle. So this is just uh, 2 pi i divided by 2 and the uh, residue residue at z equals to 0 so it's just pi i uh, residue right, it's just exponential i 0 so it's pi i okay so finally 
uh, our result tell us that the zero to infinity sine x divided by x or let me see sine z divided by z dz sorry dz is uh 2i right so it's 2i divided by pi i uh, pi i divided by 2i so the result is just pi over 2 okay very good yeah okay so this serious video uh i want to compute the various contour integral and uh, i will compute it one by one so be sure to subscribe to my channel so in this video we just compute it and uh, i hope i my uh i hope my uh, computation is basically i outline all the main ingredients okay i will see you guys in another next uh, contour video we will have another in very very interesting many <laughs> interesting contour video to help you guys prepare the complex analysis e exam so hope you guys subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in other videos thanks